Oxford Grammar for Schools Level Four by Martin Moore, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2014. CD Two. Unit Fifteen. Fifteen point one. Could you do maths problems when you were younger? Yes, I could. One. I couldn't use a computer when I was fourteen. Two. Can you cook now? Yes, I can. Three. I could run fifteen hundred meters when I was younger. Four. I can drive a car now. Five. Can you do maths problems now? No, I can't. Six. But I can use a computer now. Seven. I can't run fifteen hundred meters now. Eight. I couldn't drive a car when I was fourteen. Fifteen point two. I wish I was young again. There were so many things I could do then. I loved basketball, for example, and could shoot baskets all day. I haven't played basketball for years, sadly. And when I was young, I could ice skate too. But last year, I went with my granddaughter, and I fell over six times. The other thing I loved when I was small was climbing trees. I could climb really high. Now I'm too scared that I'll fall. I suppose there are some things I can do now that I couldn't do when I was younger. I remember when I was twelve, trying to put up a tent. I couldn't do it. It was embarrassing, but I can do it now without any problem. And of course, I can cook. Amazingly, when I was twelve, I couldn't even cook an egg, but in the end, I became a chef, and I can cook anything. And best of all, I can now sail a boat. When I was young. I'd never even been on a boat, and I'd certainly not sailed one. Sailing is a fantastic hobby. Fifteen point three. Could you check my homework, please? One. Can you tidy your room? Two. Could you carry my bags, please? Three. Can you do the washing up? Four. Can you post these letters? Five. Could you open the door, please? Fifteen point four. Ben, Katie, we're going out now. We'll be back at about nine tonight. Okay. okay. What are you going to do while we're out? Can I invite Sue, Jess, and Anna to our house? No, that's too many. You can have one friend. Okay, I'll phone Sue. Can we rent a film? Yes, that's okay. And can we get a pizza as well? No, you can't. That's too expensive. There's some food in the fridge. You can eat that. Okay. So what about you, Ben? Can I cycle into town and meet Tom? You can meet Tom, but you can't cycle. It's icy, and that makes it dangerous. You can walk or take the bus. I'll take the bus. And can I have some money to buy a burger? Sorry, I said Katie can't buy a pizza, so I can't give you money for a burger. But you can spend your own money if you have some. Okay, I think I've got some. Right, we're off. Have a good time and be sensible. We will. Bye. Unit sixteen. Sixteen point one. Good evening, Mr. Houseman. Thank you for coming in. So, how is John getting on? Not very well, I'm afraid. Oh. In fact, I'm very disappointed with him this term. What's the problem? Well, first of all, he's often five minutes late for my lessons. That's not acceptable, 
He must arrive on time every day. Okay. And when he does arrive, he's often forgotten his book or his pen. He must bring all his books and pens to every lesson, otherwise he won't know what we're doing. Yes, I understand. Is there anything else? I'm afraid there is. When he's in class, he must listen to the teacher and concentrate on his work. He often talks to his friends. He must stop doing that. It's bad for him, and it's bad for his friends, too. I've even caught him looking at his mobile phone. He must turn off his phone before the lesson starts, or I'll have to take it away from him. OK. I'll talk to him about that. Thank you. And then there's homework. Is there a problem with that? Yes. He must do more homework. It's the only way to improve. And then, when we have tests, he must revise for them. If not, he'll fail the exam. OK. I can see John's not doing very well. I'll have to talk to him about it. I promise he'll improve from now on. Thank you very much. 16.2 so, tomorrow is the big day. We're going to go out on safari and hopefully show you some wonderful animals in their natural surroundings. This will be a great day out, but there are a few important rules to make the day more enjoyable and safer. First of all, safety. You mustn't leave the vehicle, unless I say it's OK. You may think it's safe, but there may be danger that you can't see. So you must listen to me and follow my instructions. When we see animals, we must talk quietly. Loud noises scare animals away. You mustn't feed the animals. It's bad for the animals and it's dangerous for you. Of course, you absolutely mustn't smoke. The bush is dry and cigarettes can cause a fire very quickly. These are the vital rules. There are a few other pieces of general advice. You don't have to bring a camera with you. We have a photographer and he'll take photos for you. We'll also provide a picnic, so you don't have to bring food or water either. But you must wear sun cream. The sun is very hot in the middle of the day. Oh yes, and one piece of good news. We're leaving at ten o'clock, so you don't have to get up early. Sleep well, and I'll see you tomorrow. 16.3 Do I have to bring my PE kit? 1. We mustn't get up late tomorrow. We've got an exam. 2. Look at the sign. You mustn't smoke here. 3. You needn't explain what happened. 4. Ted should read that book. 5. You don't have to help me carry the bags. They aren't heavy. 6. Should I buy this? It's expensive. 7. Jess had to look after her little brother yesterday. 8. Jamie has to practice the piano every day. Revision 4. R 4.1 So, Grandpa, were things very different when you were young? Well, my parents didn't have a car, so we had to walk to school every day. But that was OK, because I could talk to my friends. And we didn't have to go home straight after school. We could play football in the street or go to our friends' houses. We didn't have to ask our parents for permission. Did you have much money? No, we didn't. We could buy sweets sometimes, but we couldn't buy music or clothes. In fact, I had to wear my brother's clothes when he'd finished with them. What about school? Was that different? We got a lot of homework, but we couldn't look things up on the internet. It didn't exist. We had to go to the library and find the answers in books. It took a long time.
In those days, boys didn't have to do cookery. We had to learn woodwork. So I could make a box, but I couldn't cook an egg. R 4.2 You will hear Tom talking to his mum about going to the cinema. Choose the correct answer, A, B or C. Mum, Rob has just called. He wants to go to the cinema tonight. Can I go? Have you done your homework yet? No, not yet. Well, you must finish your homework first. OK. And can you tidy your room too? Do I have to? I haven't got a lot of time. Do your homework first. Then, if you've got time, tidy your room. If not, you can do it tomorrow. OK. And can I stay in town with Rob after we've seen the film? What time does it finish? About eight o'clock. No, that's too late. You have to come home straight away. OK. Could you collect me from the cinema and bring me home? At eight o'clock? I've got a meeting at school. I can't miss it. It's very important. What about Dad? He can probably collect you. Phone him at work and ask him. OK. I'll do it later. No, you must do it now or you'll forget. OK. Could you pass me the phone? Unit 17. 17.1 How do you get to school? 1. When was the match? 2. How are you? 3. Where did you rent bikes? 4. What is his favourite colour? 5. Why is he laughing? 6. When are they going on holiday? 7. Who did you meet at the cafe? 8. How do you spell autumn? 9. Where have you been? 10. When does Yasmin start her new job? 17.2 What insects are you afraid of? 1. Who do you go to school with? 2. What music do you listen to? 3. Who do you have lunch with? 4. What sports are you interested in? 5. Who do you send text messages to? 6. What do you dream about? 7. Who do you sit next to? 17.3 Whose umbrella is this? 1. Whose is that book? 2. Who's the best basketball player in your class? 3. Who's that in the green coat? 4. Whose idea was this? 17.4 How long have you lived here? 1. How often do you clean your teeth? 2. How much did your watch cost? 3. How long does it take to get from London to Beijing by plane? 4. How much does an elephant weigh? 5. How long is a year? 6. How often have you been to concerts? 7. How long does your phone battery last? 8. How often does the moon go round the earth?
Nine. How much coffee do you drink? Ten. How often are the Olympic Games? Seventeen point five. What is your earliest memory? Sitting in a high chair in my parents' kitchen. How long have you known your best friend? For twenty years. We met at school. Who is your hero? Meryl Streep. I think she's simply the best film actress ever. Where would you most like to live? In Paris. There's so much history, so many great buildings, and the best food in the world. How many pets have you had? I've never had any. I'm allergic to most animals. When were you happiest? Why? Last week, because I was with my family. What was your most embarrassing moment? I was talking to a journalist about my latest film, and I couldn't remember the name of the director. How often do you eat chocolate? Every day, if possible. What is your favourite word? Friendship. How do you relax? By going to the gym, or by eating chocolate. Unit eighteen, eighteen point one. You spoke to your teacher, didn't you? One. The meal was nice, wasn't it? Two. Max is quite annoying, isn't he? Three. People drive on the right in Britain, don't they? Four. That phone isn't cheap, is it? Five. You can swim, can't you? Six. You haven't tidied your room, have you? Seven. They don't believe us, do they? Eight. We're going to win, aren't we? Nine. That wasn't funny, was it? Ten. You've got your umbrella with you, haven't you? Eighteen point two. It's cold, isn't it? You come from America, don't you? I'm not late, am I? It's not raining, is it? One. You're Turkish, aren't you? Two. The window is open, isn't it? Three. You saw the film, didn't you? Four. She doesn't like football, does she? Five. It wasn't very interesting, was it? Six. Bella will pass the exam, won't she? Seven. There are two train stations here, aren't there? Eight. You didn't miss the bus, did you? Eighteen point three. A. Your name is Kim March, isn't it? Yes, that's right. You aren't David March's sister, are you? No, I'm not. I haven't got a brother. B. I've met you before, haven't I? Have you? Yes. You were at Oscar's birthday party, weren't you? I remember now. You're in Oscar's football team, aren't you? That's right. C. Libby will pass her exam, won't she? Well, she got a good mark in her test, didn't she? Yes. And she has done all her revision, hasn't she? Yes. So she should be fine. Unit nineteen. Nineteen point one. The girl that plays the piano is called Sally. One. I'm looking for the phone that was on my desk. Two. The man that fell over the cat wasn't wearing glasses. Three. 
We'd like to see the film that starts at six o'clock. Four. The author that wrote those novels became famous. Five. The glass that fell on the floor is broken. Nineteen point two. One. This is the person who we watched playing tennis. Two. This is the person who watched us playing tennis. Three. This is the boat that I won in the competition. Four. This is the boat that won the race. Five. These are the people who we cooked a meal for. Six. These are the people who cooked a meal for us. Unit twenty, twenty point one. One. He went to the concert, but he. Two. I can't sing or. Three. He spoke to his mum and. Four. I can't play the piano, but. Five. I drank the mango juice and. Six. Would you prefer coffee or? Seven. I ate the pizza, but. Eight. He didn't wash his face or. Nine. I'd like a burger and. Ten. He looked for his sister, but he. Twenty point two. I didn't have much money, so I didn't buy the jacket. I didn't buy the jacket because I didn't have much money. One. He ordered some water because he was thirsty. He was thirsty, so he ordered some water. Two. It was very noisy, so they couldn't sleep. They couldn't sleep because it was very noisy. Three. She cried because she cut herself. She cut herself, so she cried. Four. We arrived late because there was too much traffic. There was too much traffic, so we arrived late. Five. The teacher explained it again because no one understood it. No one understood it, so the teacher explained it again. Twenty point three. Where were you yesterday? I had to go to the hospital because I hurt my foot. How did you do that? It happened while I was coming home from the sports centre. There were no streetlights on Sandy Lane, so it was really dark. There was a hole, but I didn't see it. I tripped and fell over. Ouch! So what happened next? I couldn't walk or even stand up. There was no one else on the street, so I had to phone my parents. Did they take you to the hospital? Yes. When we arrived at the hospital, I had to wait for two hours. That was difficult because my foot was really hurting. Finally, they did an X-ray. And what was the result? Although it was very painful, the foot wasn't broken. They put a bandage on it and gave me crutches to walk with. Oh, how do you feel now? It doesn't hurt too much now, but I can't walk or sit at a desk at the moment, so no school for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's lucky, isn't it? Revision five, R five point one. Why did you open the window? One. How long have you lived here? Two. Who did you see yesterday? Three. 
Whose is this book? Four. Which school do you go to? Five. Who's playing the piano? Six. You like football, don't you? R5.2 I was tired, but I played football. 1. I think you're 16. Is that correct? 2. We helped this person. 3. We watched TV while we were eating dinner. 4. I don't like tea, and I don't like coffee. 5. The person that Jill visited is a doctor. 6. The foam was too expensive, so I didn't buy it. Unit 21. 21.1 .1. Welcome to Master Brain, a quiz show to find the brainiest person in the country. If this is the first time you've listened to the show, here are the rules. 1. If you give a correct answer, you get two points. 2. If you give a wrong answer, you lose one point. 3. If you don't answer in 10 seconds, you get no points and the next player tries to answer. 4. If the next player answers correctly, he or she gets one point. 5. If you answer five questions correctly, you get two extra points. 6. If two players finish with the same score, there is one more question, and the first person to answer correctly is the winner. Those are the rules. Now, on with the show. 21.2 Are you doing anything interesting this weekend? Maybe. My aunt and uncle and my cousins may be coming this weekend. So what will you do if they come? I'll play tennis with my cousin, Tanya. My brother will probably go to the cinema with my other cousin, Jason. What will your parents do? They'll go for a walk in the country with my aunt and uncle. <sighs> that sounds nice. But they might not come. They've got a problem with their car and they live 50 miles away. So what will you do if they don't come? I'll read my book. What about your brother? He'll play computer games. And your parents? They'll probably do some gardening. I hope they come. It sounds like your weekend will be more interesting if they do. 21.3 If you sell your bike, you'll get a lot of money. 1. If they arrive late, we'll miss the film. 2. I'll be angry if Emily doesn't wait for me. 3. If you don't slow down, we'll crash. 4. Ted will look silly if he wears that hat. 5. If Jack needs the book, I'll lend it to him. 6. If you lose that watch, we won't buy you a new one. 7. Lucy won't win the race if she doesn't train harder. 8. They won't help you if you talk to them like that. 21.4 The holidays start on Friday. At last. Have you got any plans? It really depends on the weather. If the weather's good, then we'll go to the beach. Oh, that sounds good. And if the weather's bad, then we'll probably go to London. Hmm, that sounds good too. Which would you rather do, 
Hmm, I don't know. If we go to the beach, then I'll go swimming in the sea. I love that. But the problem is we have to drive a long way. And if we don't leave early in the morning, there'll be traffic jams. Oh, I can't stand that. So would you prefer to go to London? Well, if we go to London, we'll probably see a show, a musical or something like that. That'll be exciting. But we'll only go to London if the weather's bad. And if it rains all day, we'll get wet and cold. That's not much fun. Well, I'd love to go to London. So if you don't want to go, let me know and I'll go. Unit 22. 22.1 1. What would you do if you saw someone stealing a book in a shop? If I saw someone stealing a book in a shop, I'd probably tell the shop assistant. 2. What would you do if your teacher didn't come to your class? If my teacher didn't come to my class, I'd probably do my homework. Then I'd have less homework to do after school. 3. What would you do if you were in a bathroom and couldn't open the door? If I couldn't open the bathroom door, I'd send a text message to my parents. 4. What would you do if you accidentally broke a window in your parents' house? If I broke a window in my parents' house, I'd run away and hide. 5. What would you do if you were at a cafe and your food was cold? If my food was cold, I'd complain to the waiter. 6. What would you do if you found a wallet in the street? If I found a wallet in the street, I'd look for a name or address inside it. Unit 22. 22.1 1. What would you do if you saw someone stealing a book in a shop? If I saw someone stealing a book in a shop, I'd probably tell the shop assistant. 2. What would you do if your teacher didn't come to your class? If my teacher didn't come to my class, I'd probably do my homework. Then I'd have less homework to do after school. 3. What would you do if you were in a bathroom and couldn't open the door? If I couldn't open the bathroom door, I'd send a text message to my parents. 4. What would you do if you accidentally broke a window in your parents' house? If I broke a window in my parents' house, I'd run away and hide. 5. What would you do if you were at a cafe and your food was cold? If my food was cold, I'd complain to the waiter. 6. What would you do if you found a wallet in the street? If I found a wallet in the street, I'd look for a name or address inside it. 22.2 If they watch that film, they'll love it. 1. If there was a problem with my phone, I'd take it back to the shop. 2. If you clean the car, I'll pay you five pounds. 3. I'll make dinner tonight if you're tired. 4. If you got every answer right, your teacher would be very surprised. 5. If your parents heard that song, they probably wouldn't like it. 
Six. I'd lend you my bike if you needed it. Seven. Those eggs will break if you drop them. Eight. Your teacher wouldn't laugh if your phone rang in class. Nine. If your bike doesn't work, my brother will repair it. Unit twenty-three, twenty-three point one. One. My school starts really early every day. I wish it started later, so I could stay in bed longer. Two. Those cakes are much too expensive. I can't buy them. I wish they were cheaper. Three. I'm no good at making cakes. I wish I could make a really nice cake. Four. They only sell bread in this shop. I wish they sold cakes. Twenty-three point two. One. It's five past three. I wish the train would arrive. Two. I wish he wouldn't sing in the shower. He sounds terrible. Three. Look at this mess. I wish he'd tidy his bedroom. Four. I wish she'd answer her phone. Her ringtone is so annoying. Five. I wish you wouldn't open the curtains. I'd like to sleep. Six. I don't understand this maths. I wish the teacher would explain it again. Twenty-three point two. One. It's five past three. I wish the train would arrive. Two. I wish he wouldn't sing in the shower. He sounds terrible. Three. Look at this mess. I wish he'd tidy his bedroom. Four. I wish she'd answer her phone. Her ringtone is so annoying. Five. I wish you wouldn't open the curtains. I'd like to sleep. Six. I don't understand this maths. I wish the teacher would explain it again. Revision six. R six point one. One. If it rains. Two. If I were you. Three. If I find your keys. Four. My family would eat more fish. Five. If they lived near the sea. Six. My mum will get a bigger car. Unit twenty-four, twenty-four point one. Dora is friendlier than Rosie, but Beth is the friendliest of all. One. Rosie is better at sport than Beth, but Dora is the best of all. Two. Rosie is the most intelligent. Beth is more intelligent than Dora. Three. Dora is shyer than Beth, but Rosie is the shyest of all. Four. Dora is the most popular. Beth is more popular than Rosie. Twenty-four point two. My room is tidier than my brother's. Isabel has the tidiest desk in the office. 
One. I think this is the slowest train in the world. Two. Ed looks thinner than Oscar. Three. Football is more exciting than cricket. Four. Football is the most popular sport in the world. Five. This is the hottest day of the year. Six. I think we'll win. That team is worse than ours. Seven. This is the prettiest village in the whole country. Eight. Mrs. Simmons is the best teacher in the school. Nine. Taxis are more expensive than buses. Ten. Biology is the most interesting of all my subjects at school. Twenty-four point three. Daisy isn't as old as Ed. One. Gemma isn't as happy as Charlie. Two. Daisy isn't as short as Gemma. Three. Ed isn't as tall as Daisy. Four. Charlie isn't as fat as Andy. Five. Daisy isn't as young as Bella. Twenty-four point four. Henry gets up later than his brother. One. Emily swims better than me. Two. Kathy works harder than her friends. Three. You should drive more carefully. Four. Ryan is talking more loudly than everyone else. Five. He eats more healthily than his parents. Six. I earn less than my brother. Seven. This train is going more slowly than the bus. Eight. Could you speak more clearly, please? Unit twenty-five, twenty-five point one. I was at Giorgio's last night. Is that the new Italian restaurant? How was the food? Not bad. I had a bowl of pasta with a delicious creamy sauce and an enormous chocolate cake. Oh, sounds nice. <laughs> and I met some interesting new people too, the O'Sullivans. They're a really nice Australian family. The daughter Katie is my age. She's lovely. She was wearing a beautiful blue silk dress. What are they doing here? Her dad is an architect. He's designing a boring modern office block in London, I think. But they're also restoring an old stone house in the village. Oh, I know that. There's a little red sports car outside. Yes, that's her mum's car. Twenty-five point two. We never play tennis. One. You're always hungry. Two. Do you often come here? Three. She certainly works hard. Four. Have you already finished? Five. It's the first time I've ever been on a plane. Six. My brother sometimes borrows my bike without asking me. Seven. It probably won't rain tomorrow. Eight. You should always clean your teeth in the morning. Twenty-five point three. Hi, Jack. How are you? Not bad, Ben. I've just finished my maths homework.
It was quite difficult, wasn't it? I always find it difficult. So, why are you phoning? Oh yeah, have you ever been to a basketball match, Jack? No, I've never done that, but I'd love to. Well, there's a match on tomorrow. Can you come? I definitely want to. The thing is, I'm probably going to the cinema with my family.、Oh, they won't mind, will they? Okay, I'll ask my parents. Anyway, I have to go. Dinner is almost ready. Okay, Jack. Can you call me back and let me know? I'll call you later tonight, Ben. Twenty-five point four. Frank isn't strong enough to carry that box. One. Toby is too lazy to clean his room. Two. They're not old enough to go swimming alone. Three. We weren't tired enough to fall asleep. Four. He's too famous to travel by bus. Five. She's too shy to be a teacher. Six. We didn't play well enough to win. Twenty-five point five. So, madam, I hope you enjoyed your stay. Actually, no, I didn't. I have to say, I was very disappointed. Ah,、oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What was the problem? First of all, the room wasn't clean enough. No one emptied the bins, and yesterday the cleaner didn't come at all. I'm very sorry about that. I'll talk to the cleaners. Then there was the bathroom. It was too small, much too small. There wasn't enough space for two people, and the shower wasn't hot enough. The water was warm, but it never got really hot. Hmm. I'll talk to the plumber about that. That's not all. The bed wasn't comfortable enough. I didn't sleep well for the whole week, and the sheets on the bed were too old. I even found a hole in one of them. Yes, that's very bad. And another thing, it was very hot in the night, so I wanted to open the window, but the window was too high up. I had to stand on a table to reach it. Ah,、oh, that must have been annoying. And one last thing, the people in the next room were too loud. I could hear their television all night. I couldn't get to sleep. I'm very sorry you had such a bad experience. I'll call the manager, and you can discuss it with her. Thank you. Revision seven, R seven point one. Listen. Choose the correct picture, A, B. Or C. Will the box fit in the car? Hmm. I don't think so. The car's too small. One. Why did you choose the Western Hotel? Because the Western isn't as big as the Classic, and it's more modern. Two. Have you got a lot of work at the moment? Well, I'm busy enough. But not too busy. Three. Which one are you going to buy? I'm definitely going to buy the cheapest. Four. How old is your son? He's fifteen, but he isn't as tall as me yet. Five. Are you warm enough? Yes, thanks. R seven point two. You will hear a conversation at the food market. Choose yes if the sentence is correct, and no if it is incorrect. Hello, can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some apples. We've got these red apples. Hmm, they look too big. I prefer the green ones. I'll have four of them. Okay. Anything else? How much are the peaches? Ninety cents each.、Mm, that's too expensive. You could have apricots. They're less expensive. They're sixty cents each. Okay, I'll have five of them. How about some strawberries? Are they sweet enough? You can try them. Thank you. Hmm. 
Yes, I'll have 400 grams of these. OK. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. Some tomatoes. We've got lots of different tomatoes. Which would you like? Which are the cheapest ones? The large ones over here. Hmm. They look too old. What about the small ones over there? They're more expensive. They're three euros a kilo. Hmm. But they look nicer. I'll have half a kilo of them. Here you are. Anything else? No, that's enough. This bag's already too heavy. <laughs> I can't carry any more. Unit 26. 26.1 Dad, I've got some more details about the football tour to Bristol. When is it happening? In November. What are the dates? We go on the 12th and come back on the 14th. And how many matches are you playing? We've got two matches. The first match is on Tuesday afternoon against the Dolphins School. The second match is on Wednesday morning against Avon College. So you've got a match on Tuesday afternoon. What are you doing for the rest of Tuesday? Uh, let's have a look. Um, in the morning, we're going to look around the city and visit the museum. In the evening, we're going out to have a pizza at the pizza shed. So what time do you leave on the Monday? Well, it says that we leave school at about four o'clock in the afternoon. And what about when you come home? What time will you get back here? Uh, OK. It says that the coach will leave Bristol at lunchtime on Wednesday. So we should get back at about four o'clock in the afternoon. Can you collect me then? So that's on the 14th of November. Let's have a look in my diary. I've got a meeting in the morning on the 14th, but I should be able to leave by 3.30. Oh, thanks. 26.2 We stayed in Paris for three days. We visited the Eiffel Tower during our stay. 1. George fell asleep during his science lesson. 2. Mandy slept for two hours. 3. Kate has been at this school for three years. 4. We can talk about it during lunch. 5. You'll have to wait here for half an hour. 6. A loud noise woke them up during the night. 7. The microphone stopped working during the concert. 8. We're going to camp here for a week. 26.3 Pele was born on the 23rd of October 1940 in Brazil. He is often called the greatest footballer of all time. In 1956, at the age of only 15, he joined the Santos Football Club and stayed with the team until 1974. By the time Pelé was 16, he had also started playing for the Brazilian national team and in 1958 he won the World Cup for the first time. In total, he played for Brazil for 14 years and during that time, Brazil won the World Cup three times. After 18 years at Santos, Pelé left Brazil and ended his career in America. He played his last match ever on the 1st of October 1977. During his whole career, the King of Football amazingly scored 697 goals in 753 matches. Unit 27 27.1 They live in a nice town. 1. You'll find the book on the shelf. 2. 
They waited at the station for two hours. Three. We've moved to a house on Preston Street. Four. Is everyone in the car? OK, let's go. Five. I'll see you at the football match tomorrow. Six. He dropped his wallet on the ground. Seven. Is Gemma still in bed? Eight. Who's that in the photo? Nine. Can we see a film at the cinema this week? Ten. I can't find the keys. They're at the bottom of my bag. 27.2 You start by going down the slide into the water. You swim across the lake and get onto the island. Then you run across the bridge and go into a tunnel and crawl through it. When you come out of the tunnel, you have to climb up a ladder onto a platform. You walk along the bridge and go around a tower and then jump off the platform into the water again. Finally, you swim to the beach and then run from the lake to the finish line as fast as you can. Unit 28, 28.1 In your opinion, is English more difficult than maths? 1. Do you go to school by bus? 2. Where can you go for a swim? 3. Are you going on a school trip this year? 4. Can you go to school in trainers? 5. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? 6. Do you know anyone with green eyes? 28.2 Have you seen this story in the newspaper about the boy who went missing on a school trip? No, I haven't. What happened? Well, his class went to York by train. They visited all the museums, and then most children went shopping. But this boy went for a walk by the river. Did he get lost? No, he got on the wrong train by mistake. All the pupils met at the train station, but they were in a hurry, and the teacher was checking the pupils very quickly. He saw a boy in a green jacket and thought it was the boy. So they got on the train. In fact, it was a different boy. So where was the boy? He was on the wrong train. It was going to London. <laughs> the teacher realised his mistake and tried to contact the boy by phone. But his phone wasn't working. What happened in the end? The train inspector phoned the boy's parents and they came and collected him in their car. It was a three-hour journey. Wow! The teacher probably felt very bad about it. In my opinion, it was the boy's fault. He got on the wrong train without waiting for the others. Revision 8, R8.1 They arrived at six o'clock in... 1. I saw the president on... 2. The train went through... 3. We went swimming every day during... 4. Who is the man in... 5. I'm meeting Helen outside... 6. You can travel from London to Paris by... R8.2 Hi, Carla. Did you go into town yesterday? 
Yes, I did. I went shopping. I went to the bookshop to get a book for school. I just left the bookshop when I met Gemma. What was she doing? She was going to the park, so I decided to go with her. But on our way there, it started to rain. I know. It rained really hard yesterday, didn't it? Yes, there was a big storm. So instead of going to the park, we went into Milton's. The department store? Yes, that's right. We decided to stay there until the rain stopped. In the end, we were there from 2.30 to 4 o'clock. <laughs> that's a long time. What did you do? We looked at the clothes department on the ground floor and then we went up to the cafe on the fourth floor. We looked out of the window and watched the rain. When it stopped, we went outside again. Did you go to the park in the end? We did, actually. Amazingly, the sun came out and it was really nice. We left at six o'clock, but then I realised I'd left my book in the cafe at the department store. I'd put it on the table, put my cup on top of it, and then I forgot about it. Did you go back? Yes, someone had found it. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Unit 29. 29.1. 1. It's made of paper. It's used for learning languages. It's sold in a bookshop. 2. It's made of plastic. It's sold with computers. It's used for typing. 3. They're made from potatoes. They're fried. They're often eaten with burgers. 4. It's made of plastic. It's worn on the head. It's used in a pool. 5. It's made of plastic. It's kept in a wallet or purse. It's used for buying things. 6. It's made with fruit and sugar. It's boiled. It's eaten with bread or toast. 29.2 Her car is kept in the garage. 1. Cricket isn't watched in America. 2. Helmets aren't worn in tennis. 3. Are you paid a lot of money? 4. A lot of shellfish is eaten in China. 5. We're never chosen for the football team. 6. How many cars are made in Britain? 7. Millions of videos are downloaded every day. 8. German isn't taught at my school. 9. Are you ever left at home on your own? 10. Criminals are always caught in the end. 29.3 The customers are served by her daughter. 1. The menus are designed by her brother. 2. The cafe is cleaned by her sister. 3. The cakes are made by her husband. 4. The washing up is done by her son. 5. The vegetables are grown by her parents. 6. The food is cooked by Molly. Unit 30. 30.1 How was your parents' party last night? It was good, thanks. How many people were invited? There were about 50. 50? Where were all the cars parked? Luckily, there's a car park near our house, so most cars were parked there. 
But my parents had to make lots of food for all the people. <laughs> yes, of course. Was all the food eaten? Not all of it. There was a lot of cake left, so I can eat cake all week. <laughs> Lucky you. What sort of music was played? Jazz mostly. My parents have some friends who are musicians, and they were brilliant. Oh, great. And was anything broken? Actually, there was one thing. A table got broken when my cousin Leo fell down the stairs and crashed into it. Oh, was he okay? Yes. Well, he was okay until my mum saw the table. <laughs> Thirty point two. One. Fizzy drinks were invented in seventeen seventy. Two. The Statue of Liberty was designed by August Bartholdi. Three. The twenty twelve Olympic Games were held in London. Four. Coca Cola was invented by John Pemberton. Five. Mount Everest was climbed for the first time in nineteen fifty-three. Six. The music for the ballet Swan Lake was composed by Tchaikovsky. Seven. The first mobile phone was used in nineteen seventy-three. Eight. Kites were invented in China. Nine. The two thousand and ten football World Cup was won by Spain. Revision nine, R nine point one. One. They made it in China. Two. They are sold in supermarkets. Three. They didn't invite me to the party. Four. They didn't make them in China. Five. It isn't sold in supermarkets. Six. They invited us to the party. R nine point two. Farmers grow the tomatoes in Spain. When they are ripe, they pick them. Wash them, and check them for quality. Then they cut them in half, and dry them in the sun. When the tomatoes are dried, they put them into jars with olive oil. Then lorries deliver them to countries across Europe. People buy sun-dried tomatoes in supermarkets and eat them in salads. Or with pasta. Revision ten, R ten point one. Listen. Choose the correct picture A, B, or C. They travelled across the bridge. One. It's going to rain. Two. His car isn't as new as hers. Three. She's been in the taxi for half an hour. Four. There aren't enough chairs. Five. She's just eaten. R ten point two. Oscar is on holiday in Scotland. You will hear him talking to his friend Frank. Decide if each sentence is correct, yes, or incorrect, no. Hi, Oscar. How's the holiday? Great. Scotland is really interesting, and the sun is shining. What's it like in England? Hmm. It's raining here at the moment. Anyway, when did you arrive? Three days ago. We drove to Edinburgh and spent the night there. What did you do in Edinburgh? We visited the castle and walked around the city. It's very beautiful. Then yesterday we drove to see some friends who live in the mountains. 
During the day, my dad and I took our mountain bikes and went cycling. My mum and my sister didn't come with us. They went for a walk with our friends. Did you stay at your friend's house? Yes, and we'll be there tonight too. So, what are you doing today? Well, I wanted to climb one of the mountains, but my dad hurt his knee while we were cycling, so that's not possible now. I think we might go for a picnic today, or we might go to a lake and sail. We haven't decided yet. It sounds really good. I'd like to go there one day. R10.3 1. When are you going on holiday? 2. Can I go to the cinema? 3. What do you do on Saturday mornings? 4. It's cold today, isn't it? 5. Can you drive a car? 6. How long have you lived here? 7. Where are you? 8. Are you feeling hot? 9. When did you see that film? R. 10.4 Hi, William. Are you doing anything this evening? Yes, I'm going to the sports prize evening. Have you been before? No, never. I'm really excited. Are you going to get a prize? I'm not sure. Mr Sims gives the prizes, but he hasn't told anyone who's won them. But you won the long jump event on sports day. Yes, but they don't give many prizes because there are a lot of people and there isn't a lot of time. Oh. So, who gets prizes? The people who try the hardest and go to most clubs. You go to lots, don't you? If I went to four or five, I'd probably get a prize, but I only go to football, cricket and athletics. It must be hard to win a prize, then. So, when does the evening start? Um, in two hours. I have to go home and get ready. I'm going to wear a suit and tie. Does everyone wear that? Not everyone, but most people want to dress smartly. Oh, it sounds good. I wish I was invited. Well, Harry, if you play more sport, you might be able to go next year.